It's you and me, babe. And that's part of linear relationships is, for example, if you were picking a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, one of the criteria, kind of the baseline criteria, is someone you can count on. And w count on what? Count on to be there, you know, <laughs> for the wedding. Uh, <laughs> you know, you don't want to be jilted. <laughs> You know, that's not usually something people go into the, in their wedding planning. Okay, I've got jilt insurance, you know, <laughs> uh, just in case. Prenup, jilt insurance, you know. You, you want somebody who's going to be there. And this is where, when The Course in Miracles is talking about holy relationship, it's really loosening from the expa expectations of linear time and, and seeing that who the person really is behind the form, behind the linearity, kind of like those when you were kids, you know, you would uh, fold paper. That little little doll strung out with the paper is what the human construct is about. That's not the Christ. In order to really experience someone as the Christ or the Buddha nature, you know, you have to see that there's there's an essence behind this linear motion picture. Or you know, like when we were kids, we would like take a stack of paper and we would draw little mouses, like that's how Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse came along. Animation is just still frames flashed many times. When you go to see a motion picture, all you're watching is a bunch of still photographs that are moving so fast that it gives the illusion of animation, of movement, of life. And what we're seeing is that none of those images are who we really are. We're getting right down to this whole time trick. You know, you go to watch a movie and it, the reason people pay seven, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen dollars is not just to go in there and go, okay, a bunch of stills. What did you think of those stills? Oh, very nice. <laughs> I, I, you know, you know they, they move along. Or maybe you're like into football and you love the instant replay. As you've got a whole room full of people, uh, something happens really quick and half the groom goes, Ah! His feet were in bounds! And the other half go, No! His feet were out of bounds! Wait till the instant replay. <laughs> we're going to slow those stills down and find out, Oh, look at that! Oh, see. No, it's on. No, it's not on the line. They actually have these high-tech things that you can, you know, they can actually, the ball's going like a hundred and some miles per hour or something sometimes and it's coming there and they can, they zoom right in, they've got, it's down to a science. Was it in, was it out? Then they show it on the screen and everyone, ah! <laughs> everyone reacts, I was right, ha, ha, ha! You know, it's all this right and wrong and it's like, it doesn't matter whether it's high speed, low speed, you know, it's still coming down to making a judgment. And the, what we're learning from the Course is we, learn, we have to learn how to let go of the judgments. And it's particularly difficult in relationships because we have a sense of a hole or a lack in our mind from believing in this separation. And somehow the ego has told us that we can find a person to fill that lack. We can, like I said last night, we can upgrade from a lonely single self-concept to a happy, intimate couple concept, you know, and only thing you got to do is, is again, you want the person to act out and to be someone you can count on. You know, you don't want to be in relationship with someone you can't count on. And the, what we're learning from all of this is you really can't count on distorted perception or anything in distorted perception because it will always let you down. It will never show you your internal nature. You have to literally forgive the distortions. It's you and me, babe.